Carbonated water, also known as sparkling water, um, club soda, and fizzy water, is a good alternative to sugary soft drinks. However, concerns have been raised that it's actually not that good for your health. Now, that's what I'm exploring in this video, and to be honest, I was quite surprised with what I found. To understand how it affects health, we first have to understand how it's made. Carbonated water is water that has been infused with carbon dioxide gas under pressure to add bubbles. Now, they usually have salt added to improve the taste, and sometimes small amounts of other minerals are included. Although I should note natural sparkling mineral waters um, such as Perrier and San Pellegrino naturally contain minerals and sulfur compounds. So tonic water is different again. It's a form of carbonated water that contains a bitter compound called quinine um, along with sugar or high fructose corn syrup. Now when carbon dioxide, gas and water react, they produce a weak acid called carbonic acid. Carbonic acid has been shown to stimulate the same nerve receptors in your mouth as mustard and cinnamon and is what triggers that prickly sensation that people can find um, either irritating or enjoyable. Now that carbonic acid makes the pH of carbonated water about three to four, which means it's slightly acidic. Some people are concerned by that, but first I wanna clarify that uh, drinking an acidic beverage does not make your body more acidic. Our kidneys and lungs remove excess carbon dioxide, which ensures that our blood always stays slightly alkaline regardless of what we eat or drink. Okay, but does it affect dental health? While the acidity of carbonated water doesn't affect your cells, uh, it can have a tiny effect on your teeth, uh, since the enamel that protects teeth is directly exposed to the acid. This study found that sparkling mineral water damaged enamel slightly more than still water, but most notably it was 100 times less damaging than a sugary soft drink. So really it's the sugar in drinks that does virtually all the damage, um, not the carbonation. Now in this study, uh, they found that a non-carbonated sweet beverage, which was Gatorade, um, was more harmful than a carbonated sugar-free drink, uh, in this case Diet Coke. Now for the record, uh, Gatorade was even worse for tooth decay than regular Coke, um, but Red Bull was the worst. Basically, plain sparkling water poses very little risk to dental health. If you're still concerned, uh, you can try only drinking sparkling water with meals, or you can um, simply rinse your mouth out with plain water after you drink it. Does carbonated water affect digestion? It might seem surprising, but studies suggest that um, carbonated or sparkling water may actually improve swallowing ability in both young and older adults. In one study, 16 healthy people were asked to repeatedly swallow different liquids. Um, carbonated water showed the strongest ability to stimulate the nerves responsible for swallowing function. Other studies have found cold temperature of the water strengthens those beneficial effects too. Sparkling water may also help you feel full for longer than plain water does because it helps food remain in the first part of your stomach for longer, which can trigger a sensation of fullness. Um, this was demonstrated in a controlled study of 19 healthy young women, but larger studies are needed to confirm it. Uh, sparkling water may also help with chronic constipation and related digestive symptoms like stomach pain. Um, small controlled trials have found significant benefits when comparing sparkling with still water, uh, particularly in elderly people. The last topic I want to deep dive into is bone health. Many people believe that carbonated beverages are bad for bone health because of their high acid content. However, research suggests that the carbonation isn't to blame. A large observational study of more than 2,500 people found that cola was the only beverage associated with significantly lower bone mineral density. Carbonated water appeared to have no effect on bone health. Unlike carbonated water and clear soda, cola drinks contain a lot of phosphorus. The researchers proposed that the cola drinkers may not have enough calcium compared to phosphorus, which is a potential risk factor for bone loss. Interestingly, a controlled study of 18 postmenopausal women found that drinking one liter or 34 ounces of sodium rich sparkling water for eight weeks had better calcium retention and no negative effects on bone health compared to those drinking plain mineral water. If we also consider the animal studies which tend to find carbonated water is beneficial for bone health, we can confidently conclude uh, that it's neutral for bone health. That same study we just looked at also found that carbonated water had positive effects on some heart health markers uh, like cholesterol and some inflammatory markers. So overall, I think we can say that it's not any worse than plain or still water. Personally, I think it's gross, but if you enjoy it, uh, there's no reason to give it up. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this or found it useful, be sure to leave us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, you can subscribe to the Authority Nutrition YouTube channel um, by clicking that big red button below the video. Um, that way you can catch all our new videos uh, as they are released. Thank you.